Hi, yeah. In this video, I'll be removing the rear diffuser on the Skyline that I made a few years ago. Um, the company that blasted and powder coated has done a pretty poor job, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, it's time to give that a refresh. So, I'll just show you what the condition of it's like now. As you can see, the edges are pretty rusty. It's really, really thin. Um, as you can see, it's just flaking off. <clears throat> the actual body of it isn't, isn't too bad. I did use stainless rivets, but I think the water's just got trapped around the steel. So... really bad so uh, yeah I'll go ahead and remove that get all the rivets drilled out get it sent away and blasted and there we have it that's the diffuser never removed there are a couple of brackets still on the car that the side fins put onto um, but I remember having them powder coated when I first done it so they should be okay uh, so yeah, you can see the extent of the corrosion. See here is where this long black bar sits. All the, the dirt and crap's just collected there. Uh, next is to remove the end, uh, the edge bracket and drill out all the rivets. So while I wait for some new drill bits to turn up ready to drill the rivets, I thought I'd get the car on the ramps and have a, a look underneath to see what the condition's like. So straight away the exhaust heat shield has certainly seen better days. Um, there's a bit of corrosion on the boot floor. And I have noticed that these pockets have certainly seen better days. Um, that bit there looks quite bad so I'm gonna go over it with a wire brush and also um, a knotted wire wheel and see what it's like see the hole there for the diffuser bracket um, so yeah give it a clean up give it a treat give it an under seal um, obviously being an old Nissan there's going to be corrosion uh, tackle it one bit at a time so um, I think the exhaust looks like it's all one piece so it's going to be fun getting this back box off but I'll see how we get on and yeah make a start so I've now wire brushed um, as much as I could as best as I could um, the boot floor inner panels some areas are harder to get to um, so I've done my best with a hand wire brush so it's quite clean underneath where the heat shield was um, and as I suspected I found the first hole so that is going to need to get welded some point um, it's very thin here as well as you can see um, so yeah I'll get these done I'm gonna treat for now um, with the wedding coming up I haven't got the money just yet to get the, the welding done but I will so next step Rust treatment, I let that cure. I think it takes an hour or two to cure. Um, and then, I think I've got some stone chip. Let's see if I've got some stone chip. If I've got some stone chip, we'll do stone chip first. And then, under seal. And here we are, it's all under sealed. So after the, 
cure rust. I done a coat of zinc, followed by two coats of underseal. Second one being thicker. Lovely. So yeah, I've just got to get the that patch welded at some point. Um, still unsure what to do with the heat shield, whether to clean it up and refit it, or clean it up, paint it and refit it, or leave it off. So yeah, just got to get the rivets out of the diffuser, and then they can be set off to shop last night. So I've got the rivets drilled out of the fins of the diffuser. Uh, they've been sent away for shot blasting and I've not long had them back. So they've been in the shed for a day or two. So surface corrosion is now starting to appear. But overall, it's not too bad. So I'll just go over with some sandpaper or wire wheel um, before applying the cure rust um, that's come up really nicely the exhaust heat shield which I don't think has ever been touched that's not come up too bad so again screw over with some cure rust or we'll paint it with some VHT um, but the main problem is the large part of the diffuser. So the guy who done the the shot blasting, sand blasting, bee blasting, I don't know what you want to call it, um, really really struggled with the main body of the diffuser. So where it has gone down was obviously where the rivets were. Um, that obviously came off quite easily but the majority of the panel he was struggling um, he used um, a carpet pad uh, which I assume is a like a belt like a belt sander or palm sander something like that um, down to 40 or 60 grit and it's still not coming off so I did have an idea to try and find someone local who could acid dip it and I'll strip it right off. Um, but I've decided to buy another sheet of mild steel and I'll just make another one. Um, that's probably going to be the easiest and quickest way of sorting this out. And that way I ain't got to worry about spending hours and hours trying to do this by hand uh, let me just flip it over so this, this is the other side um, in one area I did try a flat wheel on a grinder and it just smudges it so that idea is out of the window so yeah just gotta wait for the the other sheet to turn up and I can get it cut drilled and whatnot um, so in the meantime, I'll crack on with the smaller fins and the exhaust heat shield um, and get them in paint. So the pieces have now been wire brushed, cleaned with white spirit and cure rust. A bit windy today, but luckily it sun's out. So now make a start with doing a layer of zinc and then I'll do stone chip followed by smooth hammering. So they now had a, a coat of zinc primer ready for some black stone chip. Not come out too bad. So the diffuser fins have come out really well. The aerosol hammer it does cover really nicely. 
So the new piece of sheet metal has finally turned up. Uh, it's a rather large piece. So yeah, I'll get cracking, get this opened up, get the old one um, measured around, drawn around, and start cutting. So I've got it all drawn out on the new sheet steel. Time to cut it and draw the holes. So the diffuser body is now prepped, ready for paint. All the holes are drilled, the bird edges are filed so they're lovely and smooth. Um, obviously you don't need to cure rust because it's fresh metal. Um, I'll give a, a coat of hammerite stone chip like I did with the other bits followed by the smooth silver. So the main body of the diffuser has now been painted. I've given it three coats of smooth silver. So, it's a little bit streaky, but you're gonna get that with aerosols. So now the next step is to rivet the center fins on, and then I can bolt on the, the front and rear brackets and get it on the car. So the fins are now riveted on to the main body of the diffuser. Um, I made a bit of a design flaw when I originally made the, the fins and the holes closest to the fold are too close. So when I actually fit the rivets, it actually damages the side of the fin, which I totally forgot about. So you can see some very slight marks just about. So anyway, give it a blow over with some paint. Hopefully that should um, hold up fine. So the next job is to apply some clear silicon sealant. Um, I don't think the professionals do this when fitting um, diffusers and aerodynamic pieces and whatnot, but if it can help me preserve this from rusting anymore and whatnot, then Happy days. So I'm just going to put a bead um, around the edge of the actual fin just to, to stop any water getting underneath it. Um, even though both underneath the actual main body of the diffuser and the other side of the fins are painted, um, it's just a precautionary, really. Um, I did paint over the tops of the rivets, um, but obviously the hole in the center will be another water trap potentially. So I'll just put a little dab of clear silicon over the top and also on the underneath of the rivet as well. Um, so I don't think anyone's gonna be getting up that close to the diffuser to be having a look, but yeah, if it helps, it helps. So I'll crack on doing that. Um, the brackets are bolted on, um, just Got to do the two in the middle, which bolt to the car itself. Um, yeah, and that'll be ready to refit on the car. So the silicon's now been applied. Just gotta let that dry. And then I can fit. So in the meantime, uh, I'll fit the heat shield back over the back box. I'll get the <coughs> The, the smaller panel fitted on the other side of the exhaust and get that built up um, and then this should be ready. So I've now got the heat shield back on with some stainless hardware and the smaller piece the other side of the exhaust is now done. So I'm using a bracket attached to the inner wheel arch passenger side to a bracket and then we'll shuffle around um, yeah I will address this scabby -ness at some point and that's the side fin on still got one more bolt that one to, to do up but 
uh, while I was under here, it was easier to make a video. So yeah, that bit's near enough finished. And the diffuser is now finally on. I'm absolutely drenched, as you can see. Um, the ground is a little bit wet, but I wanted to get it done. Looking much, much better. Yeah, very, very happy with the result. There we go. My custom diffuser.